U.S. health officials changed the definition of lead poisoning in young children. The move will more than double the number of kids with concerning levels of the toxic metal in their systems from 200,000 to, get this, half a million. What we know about lead poisoning is that kids who uh, have lead exposure in the home are often uh, at risk for behavior problems, learning difficulties, and chronic health concerns as well, such as GI problems, um, headaches, abdominal pain, things like that. Now, children can be exposed to lead through old paint, contaminated dust, and by drinking water that travels through lead pipes. So what can moms and dads do to help prevent lead poisoning? Well, if possible, remove any hazardous lead materials from your home. Make sure to regularly clean dusty surfaces and mop your floors. Leave your shoes at the door after being outside. And if you have lead pipes, run the water on cold for at least two minutes before you use it. Lead poisoning can be detected through blood tests. It is treatable and there is no cure. It's very hard for us to predict what a child's outcomes are going to be, but we know that the effects of lead poisoning are not reversible. Once we get the lead level down, we can't necessarily reverse what's already happened. Lead exposure can be a problem anywhere, but research shows it's a larger problem in poor communities and areas with older houses.